Marvel fans, welcome back. You're watching Marvel Live at Comic Con 2016. I'm Ryan Padagos, aka Marvel's Agent M, joined by Tamara Krinsky, Marvel's West Coast host, and I am joined by the incredible cast of Marvel's Luke Cage, which will premiere on Netflix on September 30th. Will you guys please introduce yourself and the name of the character you're playing since you are new to so many people? Mahershala Ali, I play Misty Knight. I'm Simone Missick, <laughs> and I play Cottonmouth Cornell Stokes. Theo Rossi, I play Luke Cage and Shades. Yes. <laughs> Russell Crowe, and I play Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> yes. So as you can tell, these guys have no fun together. They're <laughs> very, very serious. Yeah. Yeah. So Hilarious. give us a little bit of insight into what it's been like jumping into this incredible world of Luke Cage. It's been great. You know, we have these characters that are larger than life that we get to come in and put our own stamp on and mm -hmm. you have this great history for all of these characters but then you as an actor get to go in and say but this is how I feel about it so it's awesome and then we come with this amazing built-in fan base of mm. Marvel fans who are so excited for the show and it's the first superhero show of its kind like this on Netflix you don't see Harlem no. normally you don't see as many people of color you don't see as many of the you know fun things that we get to do so it's great it's Frank and I like to say we put a stink on it <laughs> no, I have a confession stank. to make. I'm oh, not Russell Crowe, and I do not play Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I felt bad about that, and I apologize. And please forgive me. Everyone. I heard he was Ladies getting sued. Gentlemen. That's why I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not familiar. Russell Crowe's agent just came up here. <laughs> I just got a text from Russell. He said, shut the bleep up. <laughs> Frank. This is Frank Well, He plays Raphael Scar. Yes, yes, my yes. partner. Thank you, man. Yes. Exactly. So, Misty, iconic mm -hmm. character. So, you two are partners. Yes. Good guys, bad guys, for those, again, who may be unfamiliar with who you're playing, give a little bit of a, a summary as to what we're going to be seeing you guys do on screen in September. Oh, yes. Yes. I agree, 100%. Absolutely. Fantastic. You know, Misty is a very hard-nosed, focused detective. She's very good at her job. She is sometimes singularly focused, uh, specifically on this guy right here mm -hmm. and getting him where he needs to be, which is behind bars. And so it... Uh, the blinds get a little blurred. She's like a helicopter up. mom yeah. for Cotton Mouth. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> 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 what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? So bar. says Shades, yeah. uh -huh. the shadiest opinion. person in Harlem. Yes. Opinion. They needed some sex appeal on the show, and they called Frank Whaley. <laughs> <laughs> I well, came to the course, show. Well, of course, who else are you going to call? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Let's talk about like Harlem for a second. I mean, Harlem's almost like a character in this show. Yes. Um, for you guys, I know music too has been uh, a big part of the show. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, I guess um, in, in some ways, it, it would take someone needing to go out to New York and experience New York in a really real way. Mm -hmm. But Harlem and New, New York and Harlem specifically is one of those it's a neighborhood and mm -hmm. it's it's a place where people know each other especially as you went as you if you go back yeah. in time yeah. um, everyone was familiar with each other and I think Cheo does um, a really great job of of building that world because in all these superhero films there's still a bit of world building that has yeah. to go into it to uh, kind of like create the soil um, for all the characters to grow out of and um, it, this story would not be the same if it were in Los Angeles or, or even if we shot it in Los Angeles mm -hmm. or Vancouver or whatnot. And so it is a, it's, it's an element that gives the, gives the piece texture. Got it. Is there stuff that you guys listen to specifically to get into character? Christopher Cross. <laughs> there was actually, you know, it was funny. On one of the first days we worked together, we both found out that we were making playlists yeah. for the characters. Yep. Right. Really? So, yeah, because that's, that's a big part of, I hate the whole kind of actory talk right. but it is a big part of like the process of for me is like getting a playlist and obviously Christopher Cross is a big part of that <laughs> yeah Earth, Wind and Fire oh, wait, wait, put yeah. him on the mic put him I on the remember mic. specifically one day on set these the three of us were sitting in a church and just like sharing music and being uh, like, are yeah. you listening to this person? Oh, have you checked out yeah. this album? And you know, there are a lot of music lovers in the cast. So what were you we doing in a church? What was going on in that scene? Praying. Why were you in a church? Yeah, ooh, <laughs> tell him Jeff. I was praying. I guess my playlist wasn't of a was concern it? to you. No. I'm um, getting the feeling you're left out a little bit. Are you feeling that? Are you kidding? There is a love affair between <laughs> these two <laughs> that is palpable after, on screen. After you saw it's Kenny Loggins, you, you didn't want his playlist. It's in the cross, be still, it's in Nash and Young. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this the first Comic-Con for you guys? Is this? This is my first con. 
This is my fifth. He's a vet. So, yeah, so you're, well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So what's it like being here as part of the Marvel world? Totally different. Yeah. I mean, I, I said this before and I'll say it again. Comic-Con was started because of Marvel comic books. Right. We're here. They're here. This all manifested because of comic books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the ultimate company for comic books. So there's a whole different, there is still that, you know, pureness of coming here in the Marvel is like, forget it. Whole different yeah. Marvel. Yeah. And you've come from playing a really beloved character, having yeah. a lot of fan adulation. Yeah. Yeah. What's it like stepping into something new? To it's a totally different character. It's such yeah. a blessing to be going into a, to play someone doing, going a totally different direction in their life and with the character. And, uh, you know, when you work with people like this, the only thing you want to do in this business is work around people you respect, you enjoy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got lucky. I'm like nine out of 10. I mean, besides this one, everybody else is terrific. Who he adores. <laughs> you know, love and respect is one thing, but adoration. Yeah. I'm obviously that. a legend I hold, you know. in Russell Crowe. Right. Well, I mean, Russell Crowe, come on. <laughs> Give him his mic. Give him the mic. And I kicked everybody's ass and threw a phone at everybody. <laughs> so what are you going to do Russell Crowe wasn't even in 300. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My apologies. Once again. This is very amazing. amazing. I love it. I love it. And to Russell Crowe. We've got fans watching in Australia, in Spain, and all over the Hello. place. And they're just they're just saying you guys sound fun. And we have a, a, a question from one of our uh, viewers in Spain. She asks she asks, what do you like most about your character? Which I think is an interesting thing, especially for if you're playing an unsavory character or someone who may not have your same traits. What do you, can you find something that you like about that character? Sure. I'm going to answer this question entirely in Spanish. So, excuse me. Hola. That's it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's she going with that? Is that your way of saying oh you like when your character, like your character, like your character says hello? <laughs> yes. And then it all went down. It all went down. It it went down. down. No, you know, I think a lot, I think all of us can find the lightness and the darkness in our mm -hmm. characters. And for me, it's really great playing this character who's very, has a very strong sense of justice and trust the system mm -hmm. in a society and in a time where it's difficult to look at the system. It's and good to play somebody it. standing on a soapbox, huh? Oh. That's cool. Oh. It just got real. It just oh. got real. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Sorry, Spang. I'm kidding. Someone Sorry, you had to hear that, Spang. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How about you? You haven't answered the question yet, so I'm putting you on the hot um, spot. You know, I think there's the audience is going to view my character Cottonmouth as Cottonmouth, aka Misty Knight, mm -hmm. as a villain. They're gonna. I mean, that's just how it's set up. But I don't view him that way. Mm -hmm. But I will say the choices that he makes, the things that he says yes to, the things that he's okay with doing, are things that go beyond my comfort zone. Yeah. And so that is freeing as an actor because that's something that, God forbid, in certain cases, something that I would never do. Yeah. You know? um, so in that way, it's fun to, to play and put that mask on, so to speak, and step into that world. Speaking of masks, or not masks, but elements of comic books, um, you know, are, you, are there, is there anything that you guys can share? Any sort of Easter egg things that the comic book fans who may know these characters from the comics? Yes. Is there anything that... Um, the fans Excuse who know these characters about. from the comics will, can look forward to seeing? Yeah, I think I think what, what it is, it takes it off the page. You know, you take these iconic characters that were there since the beginning and then you kind of humanize them and, mm -hmm. and make them three-dimensional and make them a certain kind of character. I think the origin stories and the whole things yeah. of that is what everybody's kind of looking forward, you know, looking forward to. I've I thought, got an Easter egg. An Easter shades egg. Wears shades. Wait, into the mic. Shades wear shades. How, there it is. Boom. There how it is. Are, how are your That's teeth in this? Just um, Anything we should know about your teeth? They're brushed. Yeah, yeah, they're brushed. That's okay. about it. I can't really brushed tell you anything tell else. You. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I like yeah. that. That's a good note for us to wrap on. You guys, we're going to let you go. You got to get ready. You have the big panel. Yeah. Bone 20. We're not going. We postponed it till tomorrow. I think yeah, we're going to be. You're going out drinking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't doubt that for a second. You guys have been amazing. Thank you. Um, you. And we'll be back real soon with more of the cast from Marvel's Luke Cage. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.